This is a Super 8 film I shot in 1994, a year after finishing high school. And this is the street that I grew up on, in the western suburbs of Sydney. At this age, I was desperate to become a filmmaker. I'd found my camera in a second-hand furniture shop for 50 bucks. Here I am, heading into town on the train, testing out some jump cut techniques that I've read about in film books. This is St Andrew's Church at Town Hall Station. Can you tell that it's the middle of autumn? A cold and gloomy and moody day, perfect for creating a melancholic masterpiece. Walking up to Wynyard Station, I found myself sneaking into a building. The empty upper floors above an old church. I walk around, filming out of windows, not quite knowing what I was doing, but just following my nose, moving up through this old building, one floor at a time. I think artists must have been squatting here, as the floors have many traces of life. Half finished artworks and unwashed kitchen utensils. I wonder if they'll come back and catch me here. Here I walk down a long dark corridor, a cistern dripping in a men's toilet, off to one side. I may not have told you, but I always wanted to make a horror film. Maybe you can tell by the spooky music. Towards the end of the corridor, I found a door that led onto a rooftop platform with a hills hoist washing line at its centre. Every Australian backyard once had one of these. Now, if you squint here hard enough, you'll be able to see a steel ladder that I'm climbing up. Left hand on the railing, while my right holds the camera. Passing through the ceiling of the church's final floor, up into one of its turrets. A few years after filming this, I learned from my mum and my auntie that we had an ancestor who was a Presbyterian minister, not at this church, but at another in the city, about half a kilometre away, back in the 1860s. 